Well, hi everybody. Hope I find everybody well. Thought I'd do a quick catch up video. Things are coming on really well. I'm really chuffed. Good season up to now. Good start to the season anyway. Uh, these were the first ones out. Lovely pair for cracking young there. Slight tick on that one. Slight black mark. Bit of a variegated type head on there and too clear. Looks like uh, could be one non-intensive and three non-intensive. But I've just put a, a new nest pan in. She's not been feather plucking, which is, which is good. I've seen them uh, mating. The cock birds, this cock bird and none of my cock birds, oh, one, cock, one of my cock birds has been feeding uh, the young. None of the others take any notice whatsoever. Not interested, all they want to do is mate. That's how they've been separated right until, right until today actually, uh, when I've eventually let them back in. Um, this one only had one young, but it's coming on really, really well. That's a clear bird. Can't see any black marks on that whatsoever. Hopefully, they'll be more successful on uh, the second round. Uh, get a few more fertile eggs. I think there was five eggs and there was only one fertile. This pair, which is probably one of the better cock birds, they've got three young in there. Uh, looks like, let me open the gate. looks like there's going to be three variegated which is not surprising because you've got one variegated bird or two variegated birds but as I say I've got some as you see in a minute I've got some uh, nice young in the nest just down there there's uh, this pair they they laid five eggs first round three dead in the shell uh, the other two I think was non-fertile she's laid another five looks like there could be one fertile the rest are all clear so I'm gonna I'll check them again in another few days and if see how I, go, I might remove the eggs give them one more go this what these this pair have got five five young done really well rearing both of them have been re rearing together as you can see variegated there because there's two variegated birds but the one down there and the one in the nest look clear totally clear actually even though they say there's two heavily variegated parents so it looks like three three variegated young and uh, two clear so yeah, I'm really, really coming on really well. This this pair have fed hard all the way through. I did top them up when they were really young because there was say so many of them at the. I wanted to make sure they've got plenty of food down the necks. But yeah, as you can see, lovely some lovely young birds there. These cock birds going to feed that one now. If I don't scare it away. So they'll be looking to go down again soon, no doubt. Stretching its wings. Hee <laughs> hee, what a cracker. Look at that seat, that looks totally clear. And that they're variegated parents. So they'll all, by the end of the, this week, they'll all be out. It's just the one that seems to stay in the nest. And they'll, they all tend to jump back in there when it comes a bit darker. But I'll remove the nest probably at the weekend and uh, clean it out, put another nest in, uh, see if I want to go down again. This is my spare hen. I've been uh, popping the cock bird in up here, this cock, because I find I think that's probably me better cock birds. I don't know if the cock, oh, it's not focusing very well. I've been popping him in twice, three times a day with her. She mate, they mate straight away, so. 
He must have mated with her at least 30 times, but over the last week or more. Uh, but she's not even not even thoughts of making a nest. Uh, so whether she doesn't like it because she's not got a cock bird in with her. I thought it may be the the probably the cage she was in, so I've moved her in the cage uh, down a bit, but she's still not interested in uh, building a nest or laying any eggs. But to say multiple matings, loads and loads of times, that always don't. I mean, I know that don't always mean she's going to lay eggs, but you think that we're going to get some fertile eggs if she does decide to go down. But I'll keep popping him in there. Hopefully, we'll have some success in the next week or so. The two old ends sitting in there. And one of them did perk up a bit, looked like she wanted to, to, to breed, but no, no, they won't bother with them. I just let them live their lives out. But yeah, absolutely dead chuffed. Good start to the season. If the second round is anywhere near this good, I say it's 13, 30, look at that one poking its head up, look. <laughs> uh, 13 young at the minute. I mean, could double that or even more in the second round. That's way enough for me. These are crackers in here. They really are not focusing up very well. Uh, is that any better? Can't really see. Say they're quite a bit behind, but the, the, it looks like they've got some great markings on them, so they'll, they'll make some great variegated uh, young if they come out anything like they're looking in the nest. Same with these. Once these colour up, once they've got the nice... If the parents are anything to go by, they are really good red. Uh, the black will help the, the red come out because it will make it stand out. So they should look really, really smart when they're in their new red colour over the next few months. So yeah, hope everybody else's breeding season's going all right. I know say some people have had good starts, some people have not. Uh, all sorts of stories coming out. So, but yeah, I'm happy with mine. Good solid start, probably best start I've had for a number of years. So yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased. So that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. It, you know, it helps the channel. Uh, nice to try and get to 10,000 subscribers. I think I'm stuck on around 7,000, 7, just over 7.2. But nearly, I'm creeping up very slowly now, nearly up to three, 3 million viewings of my videos over the last 14 years. So yeah, 3 million is a, a good old number. So that's it for now. Take care everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.